San Diego. Table of Contents, San Diego. All about San Diego with visiting and touring information. Geography. History. And attractions. Including Balboa Park and the world famous San Diego Zoo. Sea World. And the many attractions along the Embarcadero of the San Diego Harbor and other points of interest. Dr. Sidney Socloff. Dr. Sidney22 at gmail.com. 2023. Narration by Dr. Sidney Socloff. Zoe Phonemes. And Nathan Coltov. For a complete discussion of YouTube navigation, please go to tiny.1/ytnavigator. San Diego. This is the flag of California. This is the great seal of the state of California. Where is San Diego? Hail San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego in California. This shows the location of San Diego and Los Angeles on the coast of California. Here again are San Diego and Los Angeles on the southern coast of California. Hey, are the three regions of California. San Diego and Los Angeles are both in Southern California. These are the counties of Southern California. This shows the population density of California. Note the very high population concentration in the coastal Los Angeles to San Diego region and the San Francisco Bay region. We note again the very high population concentration along the coast from Santa Barbara and Ventura counties, through Los Angeles and Orange counties, down to San Diego County and the border with Mexico. The San Diego and Los Angeles coastal region is bordered on the west by the Pacific Ocean and on the east by the coast range of mountains. This includes the Tehachapi Range just to the north of Los Angeles. This again shows the San Diego and Los Angeles coastal region bordered on the east by the coast range of mountains, including the Tehachapi Range just to the north of Los Angeles. Just to the east of San Diego is the Cuyamaca Mountains, which are part of the coast range. This shows the San Joaquin Valley, between the Coast Range and the Sierra Nevada Range, and the Imperial Valley to the east of the Cuyamaca Mountains of the Coast Range. The Mojave Desert is between the Sierra Nevada and Tehachapi Mountains. San Diego is on the border with Mexico, with the city of Tijuana on the other side. Here is the Los Angeles San Diego Conurbation or Megapolis with a population of 18 million. To the north of Los Angeles are the San Gabriel Mountains, continued eastward by the San Bernardino Mountains, both part of the Tehachapi Range. These are the San Gabriel Mountains to the north of Los Angeles. A very brief history of California. Spain had laid claim to the anti Pacific coast. Priests of the Franciscan Order, together with soldiers and colonists, were sent north from Mexico to establish a chain of missions in California. The priests of the Franciscan Order were led by Father Junipero Serra. 
Baja California means Lower California and Spanish to distinguish it from Alta California or Upper California. This was once part of Mexico, but after the Mexican-American War in 1848 became part of the United States and became the state of California in 1850. The Dominican priests established a chain of missions in Baja California. Similar to the chain of Franciscan missions to the north in Alta California. In 1804 the Spanish colony of California was divided into Alta, Upper, and Baja, Lower, California at the line separating the Franciscan missions in the north from the Dominican missions in the south. After the Mexican-American War, 1846 to 1848, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1850 gave California proper to the United States and assigned Lower California, the Baja Peninsula, to Mexico. There were missions that were spaced roughly a day's march apart, or about 30 miles, and ran from San Diego in the south to Sonoma and San Rafael in the north, just beyond San Francisco. The road connecting the missions was known as El Camino Real or the Royal Road. Today the route of El Camino Real is commemorated by these signs and replicas of mission bells. Mission San Diego de Alcala was the southernmost mission in Alta or Upper California. Mission San Gabriel was the first mission established in the Los Angeles area. After 1821 Mexico gained its independence from Spain. This is a map of the Mexican Empire. The annexation of Texas by the United States in 1845 created a border dispute that would cause the Mexican-American War. This war resulted in a Mexican defeat in the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo of 1848. Mexico lost one-third of its area to the United States. The Mexican Cession is a historical name for the region of the present-day southwestern United States that was ceded to the U.S. by Mexico in 1848 under the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, following the Mexican-American War. The cession of this territory from Mexico was a condition for the end of the war, as United States troops occupied Mexico City and Mexico risked being completely annexed by the U.S. The United States also paid $15 million, $500 million today, for the land, which was the same as it had offered for the land before the war. Under great duress, Mexico accepted the effect. The land ceded by Mexico is 15% of the total area of the current United States territory. For the 38 years between 1810, when Mexico declared its independence from Spain, and 1848, the region had formed approximately one-third of the country of Mexico. Before that, it had been a part of the Spanish colony of New Spain for some three centuries. Beginning in the early 17th century, a chain of Spanish missions and settlements extended into the New Mexico region, mostly following the course of the Rio Grande from the El Paso area to San Trufe, which was a colonial capital under the Spanish, and which is now the capital city of the state of New Mexico. Spanish settlement and missionary work followed the course of the Colorado River, northward from its mouth, along the current border between California and Arizona. Beginning in the late 18th century, Spain had also built a system of fortresses and missions throughout Alta California, now the southern half of the state of California, from San Diego to San Francisco. The region includes all of the present-day states of California, 
Nevada, and Utah, as well as portions of Arizona excluding the region later annexed in the Gadsden Purchase. Colorado west of the boundary of the former Republic of Texas, New Mexico west of the Rio Grande and excluding the Gadsden Purchase, and Wyoming west of the former Republic of Texas boundary and south of the 42nd parallel. The treaty also specified the Texas-Mexican border as being at the Rio Grande, Rio Bravo del Norte. Previously the portion of Texas between the New Oasis River and the Rio Grande had remained disputed throughout the existence of the Republic of Texas. The United States had already claimed the area as part of the Texas annexation in 1845. Then gold Gold was discovered near Sater's Mill on the banks of the American River, near Sacramento in January 1848. This shows the location of the early gold fields of California. These are the early gold fields of California. This is the San Francisco Harbor in April of 1850. The Transcontinental Railroad The expansion of railroads out west to California was a major factor in the increase in the population of the state. The Transcontinental Railroad was completed in 1869 from Omaha to Sacramento. Then the Southern Pacific Railroad was built from Sacramento to the then small town of Los Angeles in 1876, and then on to San Diego. Later, the Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe, or a T&SF Railroad provided an oath in 1885 from the east to Los Angeles. The railroad connections from the east to southern California made it easy to transfer film production to this area. San Diego now has a population of 1.4 million, making it the second largest city in California and the eighth largest city in the United States. The metro area population is 3.3 million. San Diego is called America's finest city. This is the San Diego city and county population from 1850 to 1920, as reported by the U.S. Census Bureau. This is the San Diego city and county population from 1930 to 2020, as reported by the U.S. Census Bureau. San Diego is the county seat of San Diego County. It is the economic center of the San Diego Carlsbad San Marcos metropolitan area, the 17th largest metropolitan area in the U.S., with a population of 3.3 million. San Diego is the 21st largest metropolitan area in all of the Americas, when including Tijuana. San Diego County lies just north of the Mexican border, sharing a border with Tijuana, and lies south of Orange County. It is home to miles of beaches and has a mild Mediterranean climate. San Diego County has 16 military facilities hosting the United States Navy, the United States Coast Guard, and the United States Marine Corps. This is the U.S. Naval Base at North Island. This is the 32nd Street Naval Station showing late 1940 ships and mothballs. The University of California, San Diego and the Affiliated Medical Center, combined with nearby research institutes in the Torrey Pines area of La Jolla, make the area influential in biotechnology research. San Diego's economy is largely composed of agriculture, biotechnology and biosciences, computer sciences, 
electronics manufacturing, defense-related manufacturing, financial and business services, ship repair and construction, software development, telecommunications, and tourism. San Diego's economy is largely composed of agriculture, biotechnology and biosciences, computer sciences, electronics manufacturing, defense-related manufacturing, financial and business services, ship repair and construction, software development, telecommunications, and tourism. The first European to visit the region was the Portuguese explorer Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo sailing under the Spanish flag, 1499-1543. He sailed his flagship, the San Salvador. From Navidad in New Spain, Cabrillo claimed the present-day San Diego Bay for the Spanish MP and named the site San Miguel. This is San Diego Bay and Point Loma. This is the monument to Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo at Point Loma. This is the Cabrillo monument at Point Loma. This is the Cabrillo monument at Point Loma. This is the Cabrillo monument at Point Loma. This is the lighthouse at Point Loma. In November of 1602, Sebastian Vizcaino, 1548-1624, was sent to map the California coast. He arrived with his flagship San Diego. Vizcaino surveyed the harbor and what is now Mission Bay and Point Loma. Naming the area after the Spanish Catholic saint named Saint Didicus, more commonly known as San Diego. In November of 1602, the first Christian religious service of record in Alta California was conducted by Fray Antonio de la Ascensión, a member of Vizcaino's expedition, to celebrate the feast day of San Diego. In 1769, the Presidio, or military post, of San Diego overlooking the old town, was established by Gaspar de Portola. These are the ruins of the Presidio of San Diego. At almost the same time that the Presidio was established, Mission San Diego de Alcala was founded by the Franciscan friars led by Father Hugh Nepeira Serra. By 1797, the mission boasted the largest native population in Alta California. Of a 1,400 neophytes lived in and around the mission. Californians heard of the successful revolution in Mexico from 1810 to 1821 when the battles were long past. The news meant little, for the influence of the national government seemed unimportant in their lives. On April 20, 1822, the Mexican flag was raised over the Presidio, and San Diego swore their allegiance to it. Luis Arguello was appointed the first Mexican governor. After New Spain won its independence from the Spanish Empire, Mission San Diego de Alcala's fortunes declined in the 1830s after the decree of secularization was enacted. As was the case with all of the missions under the control of Mexico. In 1847 San Diego was a destination of the 2,000-mile march of the Mormon Battalion, which built the city's first courthouse with brick. Chapter 7 Old Town San Diego During the 1820s, what is now called Old Town came into existence. 
the Christianization of the natives and the lessening of fear of attacks by foreign enemies, together with the disappearance of royal control over the Presidio, encouraged people with orchards and gardens outside the walls to build houses convenient to their plots of land. Captain Francisco Maria Ruiz, the commander of the Presidio, was the first to build in the bottom of the hill. By 1829 San Diego was described as a collection of 30 root houses, mostly occupied by retired soldiers and their extended families. The Presidio, with its dwindling garrison, began to decay. Old Town was settled by pensioned soldiers and their families from the Presidio. Old Town grew in the early 1800s into a cluster of adobe houses and garden plots by 1835. It was composed of about 40 dark brown looking huts. The stars and stripes were first raised over the plaza in 1846 by Marines from the USS Cyan. This shows the USS Cyan taking possession of the San Diego Old Town in July of 1846. The town, in general, however, was prospering at that time. Annual port revenues rose to $34,000, six times those of San Francisco, as a result of the development of the hide trade. There were few people in California and no intensive agriculture. Still, the hills abounded with the descendants of the cattle the Franciscan missionaries had brought when they came to establish the mission chain. The animals' hides came to be called California banknotes and were the one thing of real value for export that the economy produced. The hide trade opened in 1822, with the arrival on the placid waters of San Diego Bay of the ship, say Chem of Boston. San Diego became the depot for the trade. Ships of many flags gathered hides along the coast and brought them to San Diego to be cured. Hide houses, barn-like in size and appearance were erected along the beach inside Ballast Point. Each bore the name of the ship for which it served as a base. An international settlement grew up of crewmen who cleaned the fresh hides and cured them in brine. Richard Henry Dana's immortal description of this community, facetiously called Hyde Park, in his book Two Years Before the Mast, made a fascinating picture. At the end of the Mexican-American War and the Gold Rush of 1848, San Diego was designated as the seat of the newly established San Diego County and was incorporated as a city in 1850. This is a map of San Diego County. This is another map of San Diego County. San Diego County is bounded by Orange County on the north, Riverside County on the east, and Mexico on the south. In 1850 Lieutenant Andrew B. Gray realized that the best site for a seaport town was on the bay, where the downtown district now lies. The men who joined him in trying to develop the area were Jose Antonio Aguirre. Miguel de Pedrarina. Dot. William C. Farrell. And William Heath Davis of San Francisco, the famous Kanaka Davis, who was a man of great vision and resources. Davis was the chief investor in the town site, which was officially named Newtown. For $2,304. The promoters bought 160 acres bordered by the harbor's edge and lines now followed by Front Street and Broadway. They laid out the streets in that quarter and dedicated the first park in San Diego, now called Pantoja Plaza, at the center of town. In April of 1867, 
A shrewd Yankee named Alonzo Erastus Horton stepped off the steamer onto a wharf at Newtown. He saw what Gray and Davis had seen, before their time, about where the town should be. Horton was not before his time when he said, the town should be down by the wharf. Then he bought 1,000 acres of what is now downtown San Diego for 27 and one half cents an acre. Horton was a first-class promoter. As soon as the town site was platted, he advertised his property widely, gave lots to people whose friendly interest would help his town, and erected buildings and a new wharf. A total of 1,400 acres was set aside in what is now Balboa Park as a city park. This was ratified by the state legislature to frustrate land sharks. The new county seat by now was well served by hotels, of which the leading one was the Horton House, an attractive two-story brick structure that faced the plaza. This is where the U.S. Grant Hotel now stands. The Horton House was built by Alonzo Horton, popularly nicknamed Father Horton. The Horton House cost $150,000 to build and had nearly a hundred rooms. This is the courthouse and wharf in 1873. This is the San Diego Harbor and Point Loma in 1888. This is a view of San Diego and the Bay. Significant U.S. naval presence began in 1907 with the establishment of the Navy Coaling Station. This gave further impetus to the development of the town. San Diego hosted two world's fairs. The Panama-California Exposition in 1915 and the California Pacific International Exposition in 1935. Many of the Spanish-slash-Baroque-style buildings in the city's Balboa Park we built for these expositions, especially for the one in 1915. Intended to be temporary structures. Most remained in continuous use until they progressively fell into Disray Bay. All of the buildings were eventually rebuilt using castings of the original facades to faithfully retain the architectural style. The Panama California Exposition was held in San Diego between March 1915 and January 1917. The exposition was held in Balboa Park and celebrated the opening of the Panama Canal and was meant to tout San Diego as the first U.S. port of call for ships traveling north after passing through the canal. The California Pacific International Exposition was held in San Diego from May to November of 1935 and from February to September of 1936. The exposition was held at the site of the earlier 1915 Panama California Exposition in Balboa Park. After World War II, the military played an increasing role in the local economy. But at the end of the Cold War, the local economy experienced a downturn due to cutbacks in the local defense and aerospace industry. San Diego leaders sought to diversify the city's economy. And San Diego has since become a major center of the emerging biotech industry. It is also home to telecommunications giant Qualcomm. Carnival Cruise Line uses San Diego as a year-round home port, as well as other seasonal home port lines such as Holland America, Royal Caribbean, and Celebrity. This is the cruise ship terminal in San Diego. This is a view of One America Plaza from Seaport Village. San Diego is well known for its excellent climate. 
Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year in San Diego. San Diego's climate is strongly influenced by the cool currents of the Pacific Ocean, which moderate the temperature swings and produces a remarkably mild climate with little seasonal temperature variation. Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Celsius throughout the year in San Diego. Here is the average monthly rainfall in inches throughout the year in San Diego. The yearly average is only 9.9 .9 inches. Chapter 9 San Diego Attractions My San Diego Top 10 Picks San Diego Zoo Balboa Park Museums USS Midway Sea World Old Town Point Loma in Cambrillo National Monument Maritime Museum San Diego Wild Animal Park Coronado Island and Hotel del Coronado Seaport Village this shows the location of the Majo attractions in San Diego. This shows the location of more of the major attractions in San Diego. This shows the location of more of the major attractions in San Diego. This shows the location of more of the major attractions in San Diego. Number 1. The San Diego Zoo Besides open areas and natural vegetation, San Diego contains a variety of cultural attractions, including museums, theaters, gardens, shops, and restaurants, as well as the world-renowned San Diego Zoo. The world-famous San Diego Zoo in Balboa Park is one of the largest, most progressive zoos in the world, with over 4,000 animals of more than 800 species. This is the entrance to the zoo featuring an elephant sculpture. Number 2. Balboa Park Balboa Park is a 1,200-acre, 5 square kilometers, urban cultural park in San Diego. This shows the location of Balboa Park and the zoo. This shows the location of Balboa Park and the zoo. Unlike some city parks, which are mostly free of buildings in favor of open space and recreational fields, is for example, New York Central Park. Balboa Park is a cultural complex. This is the Museum of Man in Balboa Park. Number 3. The USS Midway. This shows the Embarcadero where the USS Midway is located. This is a more detailed view of the location of the Embarcadero, where the USS Midway is located. The USS Midway was an aircraft carrier of the United States Navy, the lead ship of her class, and the first to be commissioned after the end of World War II. She was active in the Vietnam War and Operation Desert Storm. She has been a museum ship since 2004. In 2004, the USS Midway was murdered at her final location at the Broadway Pier in downtown San Diego and opened to the public in the first year of operation. The museum welcomed almost 900,000 guests aboard. Visitors may tour the ship's flight deck, hangar bay, mess hall, bridge, primary flight control area, enlisted and junior officer quarters, sick bay, and portions of the engine rooms. 
of a 25 restored World War II and post war naval aircraft are displayed in the hangar and on the flight deck. Self guided audio tours are provided. Number 4. Sea World San Diego is a theme park featuring marine mammals. This is Sea World San Diego. This shows the location of SeaWorld in Mission Bay Park. This shows the location of SeaWorld in Mission Bay Park. Number 5. The Old Town San Diego State Historic Park. This shows the location of Old Town. This shows the location of Old Town. During this period, San Diego was California's first Spanish settlement, with a mission and fort established there in 1769. For this reason, the park's design incorporates Spanish styles and early American architecture. Five original adobes are part of the complex which includes shops, restaurants, and a museum. A few historic buildings include a schoolhouse, a blacksmith shop, San Diego's first newspaper office, and a stable with a carriage collection. Number 6. The Cabrillo National Monument this shows the location of the Cabrillo National Monument on Point Loma. The Cabrillo National Monument commemorates the landing of Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo at San Diego Bay on September 28, 1542. This event marked the first time that a European expedition had set foot on what later became the west coast of the United States. This monument was dedicated in 1913 and was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1966. A heroic statue of Cabrillo looks out over the bay. The statue was executed by sculptor Alvaro de Brie for the Portuguese government in 1939, who then donated it to the United States. The sandstone monument is 14 feet, 4 meters, tall and weighs 7 tons. The adjacent museum has exhibits and a film about Cabrillo's voyage. The park offers a superb view of San Diego's harbor and skyline, as well as Coronado and Naval Air Station North Island. On clear days, a wide expanse of the Pacific Ocean, Tijuana, and Mexico's Coronado Islands are also visible. The Old Point Loma Lighthouse is at the highest point of the park. It has been a San Diego icon since 1854. The lighthouse was closed in 1891, and a new one was opened at a low elevation because fog and low clouds often obscured the light at it location, which is 129 meters 422 feet above sea level. Number 7. The San Diego Bay Cruise. This shows the route of the San Diego Bay Cruise. The San Diego Bay Cruise. This shows the location of the San Diego Bay Cruise Ticket Office on the Embarcadero. This shows the location of the San Diego Bay Cruise Ticket Office on the Embarcadero. This is a more detailed view of the location of the San Diego Bay Cruise Ticket Office on the Embarcadero. Number 8. The Maritime Museum. This shows the location of the Maritime Museum on the Embarcadero. 
The Maritime Museum of San Diego was established in 1948. It preserves one of the largest collections of historic sea vessels in the United States. The centerpiece of the museum's collection is the Star of India, an 1863 iron bark. The museum also exhibits the Berkeley, an 1898 ferry boat. The Star of India was built in 1863 in Ramsey, Olive Man, as the Uterpi, a full-rigged iron windjammer ship. After a full career sailing from Great Britain to India and onward to New Zealand, she became a salmon hauler in Alaska and then to the California route. After retirement, she was restored and is now a seaworthy museum ship in San Diego. The ship is both a California National Historic Landmark and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The Berkeley was one of several ferry boats of the Southern Pacific Railroad that operated on San Francisco Bay between the Oakland Pie and the San Francisco Ferry Building for 60 years. The Berkeley was built in 1898 by the Union Iron Works of San Francisco. She served after the 1906 earthquake, ferrying refugees across the bay to Oakland. The Berkeley was in regular service from 1898 to the spring of 1958, when she was taken out of service for repairs. She never returned to service as Southern Pacific decided to end all ferry service in 1958. Number 9. San Diego Zoo Safari Park The San Diego Zoo Safari Park is a zoo in the San Pasqual Valley area of San Diego. It is one of the largest tourist attractions in the city in all of Southern California. It is 35 miles north of the San Diego Zoo. The San Diego Zoo Safari Park is a zoo in the San Pasqual Valley area of San Diego. It is one of the largest tourist attractions in the city and all of Southern California. It is 35 miles north of the San Diego Zoo. The park houses a large array of wild and endangered animals including species from the continents of Africa, Asia, Europe, North and South America and Australia. The park is in a semi-arid environment, based on a Nairobi village in Kenya. One of its most notable features is the Journey into Africa tram, which explores the expansive African exhibits. The San Diego Zoo Safari Park houses a fabulous array of wild and endangered animals, including species from the continents of Africa, Asia, Europe, North and South America and Australia. Free-range enclosures house such animals as cheetahs, antelopes, lions, giraffes, okapis, elephants and zebras. Number 10. Coronado. This shows the location of Coronado. This shows the location of the Hotel del Coronado. This shows the location of the Hotel del Coronado. Locals often refer to Coronado as the island or Coronado Island, and they denote the co-living and business area as the village. The military base is called North Island. The San Diego Coronado Bridge opened in 1969, with a $1 toll collected for traffic going westbound to Coronado in 2002. It became the last toll bridge in Southern California to discontinue tolls. Coronado is home to the famous Hotel del Coronado. Built in 1888 and long considered one of the world's top resorts. It is one of the few surviving examples of an American architectural genre.
the wooden Victorian Beach Resort. The hotel is located immediately behind the beach, facing the Pacific Ocean. It is the largest beach resort on the North American Pacific Coast. Number 11. Seaport Village. Seaport Village is a shopping and dining complex overlooking the bay in San Diego. This shows the location of the Seaport Village at the southern end of the Embarcadero. The Seaport Village has more than 70 shops, galleries, and eateries on 90,000 square feet, 8,000 square meters, of waterfront properties. The village contains several freestanding buildings in an assortment of architectural styles, from Victorian to traditional Mexican. It is designed to be a car-free environment, with 4 miles, 6 kilometers, of winding paths rather than streets connecting the various buildings. Chapter 10 Other Points of Interest in San Diego Horton Plaza is a five-level outdoor shopping mall located in downtown San Diego. It is remarkable for its bright colors, architectural tricks, and odd spatial rhythms. This is the Horton Plaza in the adjacent gas lamp quarter. The Horton Plaza stands on six and a half city blocks and is adjacent to the city's historic gas lamp quarter. It is currently anchored by Macy's and Nordstrom's department stores. The Gas Lamp Quarter is a neighborhood of downtown San Diego, named for the gas lamps that once lined the streets. Four new gas lamps, one on each corner at the intersection of Market Street and Fifth Avenue, represent these older lamps. This shows the location of the Gas Lamp Quarter in Horton Plaza near downtown San Diego. The historic district includes 94 historic buildings in the 16 and one half block area. Many buildings are Victorian era themed and are still in use with active tenants, including 100 places to eat, 100 shops, and 35 nightclubs. The quarter is home to many popular events, including Mardi Gras in the Gas Lamp, Taste of Gas Lamp, and Shamrock, St. Patrick's Day. Petco Park, home of the San Diego Padres, is located one block away in downtown San Diego's East Village. The San Diego Convention Center is the main convention center for the city of San Diego. In the Marina District of downtown, as of 2005, the convention center was the 21st largest convention facility in North America. San Diego State University was founded in 1897 as the San Diego Normal School. It is the largest and oldest higher education facility in the greater San Diego area and is part of the California State University system. It is the third oldest university in the California State University system and one of the oldest universities in California. It has a student body of approximately 35,000. This is Hutner Hall, featured in the school's logo. The Arts and Letters Building at San Diego State University opened in 2006. This is the Student Services Building of San Diego State University with the Clock Tower. The distinctive Geisel Library on the campus of the University of California San Diego is named after Theodore Seuss Geisel, Dr. Seuss. This is the library walk leading toward the Geisel Library. It is the geographical center of the colleges on the campus of the University of California, San Diego.
For the first time visitor to San Diego a good way to see the area is by a tour bus. It's for example, the Old Town Trolley Tour. Besides San Diego the Old Town Trolley Tour has 130 trolleys in 7 cities. The entire tour route takes about 2 hours and covers 25 miles of San Diego and Coronado. You may hop on and off at any one of the 10 convenience stops throughout the entire day. These are the 10 stops of the Old Town Trolley. A Old Town Market. B Embarcadero Marina. C Seaport Village. D Marriott Marcus and Marina. E Horton Plaza Park. F Gas Lamp Porter. G East Convention Center. Petco Park in Hilton Bay Front. H Hotel Del Coronado. I Balboa Park. And J Little Italy. These are locations where tickets may be purchased. In the summer, the trolleys run from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and until 5 or 6 p.m. at a third times of the year. Tickets are available for one day or two day tours. This is the San Diego City and County populations from 1850 to 1930 from the U.S. Census Bureau. This is the San Diego City and County population from 1930 to 2020, as reported by the U.S. Census Bureau. This is the ethnic distribution of San Diego. We see that Hispanics make up over one-third of the population, and Asians account for almost one-fifth. Recommended Videos, San Diego Recommended Video, San Diego Old Town Trolley Tour San Diego Vacation Travel Guide Expedia San Diego, California Top Things to Do, Viator Travel Guide Top 20 Best Things to Do in San Diego Great Moments in San Diego History, Illustrations and Photographs Welcome to History San Diego Table of Contents, San Diego. Thanks for watching. Please watch some more of my great videos.